in this video tutorial i am going to design the top cover in the solidworks so let's do it first of all i am going to verify my units so make sure your units are selected as ips or you can also change units from here system document properties and units and you can select any working units which you want our requirement is inches so we are all good go to sketch tab and select the sketch start the sketching on the top plane just click on the top plane and we will switch to normal view if the normal view is not uh, switched and in front of us you can also go here and click on here normal view on view orientation tab go to rectangular and select the center rectangular and the starting point of this a rectangular must be this origin the center of that rectangular is that origin place it here and then click ok smart dimension click on smart dimension there is also some other types of the dimensions smart dimension horizontal dimension vertical dimension ordinate dimension these uh, these dimensions these tools can also be used to add the dimensions but uh, the smart dimension tool is a good tool and mostly we use that tool select that line and dimension that line is 4 then go and select this line this dimension is 2.625 click ok to deactivate the smart dimension command and click on fillet now we want to add the fillet on for corners activate the fillet and intentis to fillets is asking which intentis you want to fillet we want to fillet this corner this corner this corner select these corners and these all uh, selected corner will appear here and the under the fillet parameters the radius is given as 0 0.250 click ok and ok fillet will be added again click ok now exit the sketch by clicking it here or you can also exit the sketch by clicking it here then go to isometric view now we needed to extrude this sketch click on the extrude base boss and this window will appear under the specification form sketch plane is selected ok don't change it and under the direction 1 end condition is blind this is end conditions and under the depth of that extrusion we are going to put 0 0.250 and click ok now we needed to add our second feature and for the second feature we are going to offset the existing edge so first of all we needed to start the sketching and for the plane of that sketch I am going to start my sketching on this top surface so I am going to click it here and go to normal view no I, I needed to draw a rectangular here we can draw the rectangular by using the rectangular tool or there is an other tool which is very helpful if you have an existing geometry you can use this tool to helpful to copy the sketch and to save your time so i am going to click offset what this offset will do let's see i'm going to click offset and for the offset make sure to check this option offset geometry and click so basically we wanted a rectangular and fillets here so I am going to offsetting this existing sketch to our current sketch so select this one select all the edges which you want to make them offset and under the specification parameters this parameter is 0.375 and for the direction we wanted it in the inner inner of this edge now the preview is showing that it's outside but we wanted it in the inner so I am going to change the direction and check the reverse direction and as you see the direction is reversed and click ok as you see this uh, sketch is converted into reference lines 
so we needed to uncheck this for construction select all these line and uncheck the for construction click ok and then exit this sketch and now we needed to move to isometric and extrude this sketch and the extrusion depth of this sketch is given as 0 0.250 and click ok now we needed to make our next feature so basically i wanted cut on this on this uh, corners the four cuts on this corner so to do the uh, cuts i am going to select sketch and i am going to open the open my sketching on this this face and go to normal view and just add four circle on this corner select the center of this corner this this point this one, like that but I am going to add just one one circle and then I am going to mirror it to mirror that I am going to draw some center lines for my reference and again center line and then dimension this circle this dimension is 0.5 and then just mirror this circle so to, to save our time I, I did not add it like uh, three more circles here I just added two center lines and then I am going to mirror this sketch so go to mirror intentees and it's asking which intentees you want to mirror I want to mirror this arc so it will appear and then mirror about on which axis or uh, center line you want to mirror so I want to mirror against this line as you see this circle is mirrored to the other side with the reference and then again select the mirror select these two circle and mirror about no I wanted to mirror it about this axis so it's done just exit this sketch and cut extrude the material and go to normal view isometric view sorry and use the cut extruded and make this cut through all and make sure this uh, direction of the cut must be in right side so okay now we <coughs> added the cut now we needed to make the fillets for these corners I am going to select fillet and first I am going to specify the and diameter radius of the fillet this radius is 0 0.250 and now I needed to select click here items to fillets make sure you click here and then select all the edges which you want to fill it so I am going to select this edge and this edge I know I am needed to select this edge and this edge and then I am going to rotate my model to to make sure the other edges are visible to us so hold the middle mouse button and drag it it will make the rotate and then I am going to select this edge this edge this edge this edge total eight edges I selected for my fillet command and as you see the fillet is added now go to isometric view now I needed to add the second feature so this one now I am going to use this shell so what does this shell do as you see under the definition of shell removes the material from a solid body to create a thin walled feature basically this command is going to remove the material we needed to specify the thickness which is left after the shell command and it will remove the material uh, from the selected phase so I am going to activate the shell command and it's asking the parameters under the parameters as you see it's asking the thickness the thickness which will be left for our model so this thickness is 0.125 and then select this line and 
select this one and select this surface so we wanted to make the material from this side and click ok and as you see the all material will be re removed just allowing the thickness which we given to our model it removed the material from this this whole surface and then as you see we added this feature so it also removed the material from this feature leaving the length uh, leaving the depth or the thickness which we specify so thickness from this point to this point is what 0.125 you can also verify it by going here Volute measure. I want to measure distance between this edge and this edge, and as you see, it's pair 0.13. So basically, it's uh, 0.125, and it's uh, showing us the rounding values. So it's added. Make sure uh, you got the meaning of the shell command. What does that shell do? and if this feature is not here then it will all only remove the material from this side but as this feature is also here it also give the shell to this feature and just leave the thickness 0.125 for this feature also now we needed to add the next feature for our next feature i am going to like go to isometric view sketch and for this feature we needed to select the bottom face so i am going to rotate my model by pressing the middle mouse button and dragging the mouse and i am going to select this face this bottom face and open the sketch on this face and make it normal go to circle tool and for this we needed to draw four circles and we needed to specify the relations and dimensions for that circle so first of all we needed to find the center of that circle so i am going to move my mouse and as you know when i when i did not select this circle command the mouse cursor is just like that when i selected it it will turn into a little pencil and a circle around it when i move that to this little arc of the fillet as i move it here it will show me the center of that arc so we needed to select the this center for our center of that circle and make sure you select it like that again move your pencil on that arc and start the circle from here and like that keep doing that and add all the other remaining circle and just go here and will show you the center basically we are uh, making this circle concentric with this little arc now we needed to add some relation so i am going to click on add relation and here i am going to select this circle and this arc and i wanted that these two must be sharing equal radius or equal diameter and click ok so it's added and again go to add and select this circle and this arc and click on equal you can also add the relation by pressing your control button on keyboard and select this circle and this arc and it will show you when these two lines the, these two circles and arc are selected it will show you the add relations and we wanted them equal and same way press the control this circle and this arc sorry select press control select this circle and this arc and relation will be possible relation between these two things will be shown so we want it add done and rotate the model like here go to feature extrude and for this extrusion under the end type no we don't needed to select the blind for the blind we needed to specify the depth but as you see we wanted this extrusion uh, equal to that face like this extrusion don't cross this surface 
so under the end condition I am going to select up to the surface and for selecting the up to surface for our end condition it's basically ask the solid work ask about the surface so we needed to specify the surface and this extrusion will be from the sketch plane to that surface so let's see the magic I needed to select that surface and the extrusion will be from the sketch plane to that surface I am going to cancel it and do it one more time so go to extrude and under the end condition no we don't want it blind we want it up to surface and select that surface so as you see this extrusion is from the that sketch plane to that surface so this feature is done now move to our next feature the next feature is fillet we needed to add some fillets to the some faces so go to isometric and then select the fillet and for this fillet type now we need we, we are going to select some we're going to select the faces so for the i'm going to select this face and this face and for the diameter of the fillets i am putting 0 0.031 and this fillet will be added to all the corners and all the edges of uh, that faces and click ok and same way i am going to rotate by pressing my middle mouse button and dragging it and click fillet i'm going to select this this face and the fillet is added diameter is same and fillet is added also on the bottom and go to trade so the our model is completed we just needed to add four holes to our model so I am going to click on hollow wizard and under the type of hole I am going to select this simple hole and under the drill I am going to select screw clearance and number is for this size I am going to select 6 number 6 and end condition is through wall Side this custom and on this surface we wanted the holes and make sure it's normal <coughs> and the same way we are going to position this circle by going here on that arc and activating the center point and same way go here activate the center of that And click OK. So now our model is completed. Just go here and change the material. And we want it. So the top cover is completed. Thank you so much. It's very easy. You you just needed to practice practice it. And uh, please subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.